What's up cosplay friends? Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to bring you a requested tutorial today for Jaina Proudmore's corset from her new design for World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. I'm currently less than six weeks out from my big local convention, Anime Nebraskan, and the con crunch feelings are real. But I did have time to put this tutorial together for you, so let's get right into it. The first thing that needs to be done is to make your pattern. I think the easiest way to do this is to use the duct tape method. I had my husband help me with this and I definitely recommend you have help to do this as well. You can use saran wrap instead of foil if you choose, whatever you have on hand. I wrapped myself in foil and then had my husband layer duct tape over that. The reason I did not go with a traditional pattern, other than the fact that I've been making my own patterns for years and I don't really understand normal store-bought patterns, is because combining and editing multiple patterns together for this project just seems like you're working harder rather than smarter, and I'm just not into that. I had him mark two straight lines for where the corset ends in the front. Have someone cut the duct tape and foil off of your body at the front, hopefully not cutting your shirt. And then trim the front pieces of the corset along the lines marked. From here you can fold your pattern in half and flatten it out. Mark off your single back piece that will sit in the center of your back. And a section that will sit on your sides. These are the shapes I use for my pattern. Now we're going to transfer this onto muslin or scrap fabric. You can add your seam allowance here, which you want to keep at about 3 quarters to an inch. I labeled my pattern pieces as follows. Piece A is my frontmost section where the corset will come together with straps. Piece B will sit on either side. And piece C is my back section. Use your muslin pattern to transfer to your project fabric. I'm using a white amaretto linen look fabric from Joanne. I have four copies for piece A, four copies for piece B, and two for C. Separate your fabric pieces so you have a pile for your lining and a pile for your exterior. You can choose to use lining fabric for your lining piece as a more budget friendly option here. I chose to use the linen look for my lining as well as the exterior, which is just my personal preference. I sewed the exterior and interior pieces all together, two separate total pieces, making sure to leave that 3 quarter inch seam allowance. Be sure to iron your seams flat. For now we can set the exterior piece aside and just focus on our lining. I'm 
using plastic featherweight boning for my corset. It's inexpensive and easy to find. I got mine at Joanne. Measure and cut your boning and casing to fit the seam, leaving a bit of a gap at the top and the bottom. You also want to leave about a half an inch on either end of your boning as well so you don't end up sewing over it later. You want to make sure to round off the edges of the plastic boning to avoid the boning poking and ripping through your fabric. I took a lighter to the ends to further blunt them and you can also put a tiny scrap of fabric over the end to help with the issue of poking through as well. Keep your boning out of the case for now. Center your casing along the seam you created on the lining. Now carefully sew the casing on, following the stitched edges of the casing. Repeat this for the rest of the channels of boning casing along your lining. Now you can slide your boning back into the casing and you're good to go for the next step. Next we're going to cut out the gold edging for the bottom of the corset. It's just as simple as placing the exterior fabric onto your gold fabric, tracing and cutting it out. Mine is roughly one and a half inches wide. Take your gold edging and set it with the right sides together against the fabric all the way up to the edge. Sew that just right on there and then do the same for your second piece. Flip the gold edging over and stitch down on top of it. This keeps your edging laying flat. Now we're going to sew the lining and exterior pieces together, right sides facing each other again of course. For my linen look fabric, which can be pretty fragile at the edges and like to fray, I'm using a medium zigzag stitch first to help reinforce the fabric.
Then I'm going to go around the top and sides with a regular straight stitch. Flip your fabric inside out. We're going to push the edges out as far as they can go, like in that little corner. You really want to poke it out. I pinned this in place first, stitch near the edge of the corset top and sides. This serves a couple of purposes. It again helps your fabric lay flat against your body without any puffiness near the edges, and it helps reinforce the placement for your boning casings. almost done with the base corset. Now it's time to take the bottom edge of the gold edging and we're going to tuck those edges inside so they're against each other. Take your time with this so you don't have any little bits of fabric sticking out. After this stitch, the corset will be completely closed. Be patient with this and make sure it looks exactly how you want it to. So this is the point that I have to stop and wait a bit before I can finish this project. I'm currently losing weight and I want this corset to fit me absolutely perfectly. So I will be waiting a few weeks before installing my buttons and buttonholes and generally going over the notions that I'm using here. Uh, but this should be a good start for you and if you're in a rush and really need some more guidance right now, please head over to my Instagram at Miss Egoberry and I will be more than happy to help you finish this. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to click that like button and leave a comment as it really helps me grow my channel and subscribe for more cosplay content in the future.